sitting there for last week's lab and I feel intimidated by it. I hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we can certainly talk about the test, I think, mean, absolutely. We usually okay. have a few people show up since we're labbing as well. We're not that big in, on the Zoom. Um, so uh -huh. it's, it's usually a nice conversation between a few of us, so it's perfect. So we can start with that since, I mean, it's, you know, people show up, but we can just get started a little bit with that. Okay. Um, what's your, what's your concerns? I don't know. Okay. So I wasn't there when you handed out the term list originally. Um, I picked up a paper, the following lab. Mm -hmm. So what, I guess, what is a test going to look like? Cause I've been practicing the flashcards. Is it just sort of like, what is this bone? And then I have to know it. What is this muscle? And just am I memorizing like the placement of everything or yes. what? Yes. So let's go into the review here. Okay. If you want, if I, if I should look at the screen, just tell me, cause I'm not on my, on my phone, but I can walk back over to my phone. Oh, uh, I am on the screen, but I, it might just be enough for you to um, no, Maybe it'd be good for looking at it briefly. Um, okay. for I'll walk over there. In the in the review, you have a the term list is in the review as well. So in okay. the test review, it has a few tabs there uh, in the review material. One is and one the first one is the term list. And so that's basically what that is, is just an accumulation of all the terms that we're going through in the ex in the color labeling activities. Mm -hmm. So that's really, you know, the ones I want you to know. And I want you to, uh, and so you can have this term list during the test. Oh, I can. Yes, the term list okay. you have during the test. And in addition to that, I don't know if you show up, if you come to lab this week, or next week. Um, no, I will be. I will be attending this one for sure. Okay, then I'll bring the. Um, then I'll bring sort of an example of what I let you. I let you also write on the term list, so you can use the term list like a cheat sheet. Okay. So I have one that I'll carry around with me that I laminated from a student that was really cool who, you know, basically drew every <laughs> bone with all the muscles and all the landmarks on the backside of the term list. Oh, I want to see that. Right? You definitely want yeah. to take a picture of that. I know. Yeah. I got to give somebody a lot of credit. <laughs> who did that. There is, yeah. And so, that yeah, no, it's, it's perfect because then, in you know, it takes away some of the angst of, like, having to memorize. And it really ultimately solidifies the information much more in your brain that way, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, because you really f focus on 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 you know on creating a, a a sheet that you can use to remember of what is what that you created and it's not just like you bring the booklets or so because yeah. so i don't i don't let you do that because the test is a, we walk around the classroom in the test so i have um i line up the tables that we can make cubicles and then mm -hmm. each cubicle has a, a structure on it a bone on it or a muscle on it or um well usually a bone or a muscle um and then there's two questions per station and so you walk with your with your term list and then you have an answer sheet as well uh, mm -hmm. and so what you basically then do is you say you see you know the bone on the table and and it says name this landmark and it has a numbered little tag on it let me show you no those pictures won't show up but here the last tab i don't know if you're on the computer right now on the phone that oh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking pictures of models in there mm -hmm. you can see if it shows up those are all the models that i use in the class uh to then do the test but you can all see these are all the sort of bones the skull and then it goes through the facial muscles i took these pictures before when the pandemic happened and so it's too much color to print out but it can mm -hmm. be helpful to study for it because these are the models i use on the test um and, okay. then, and then on those models i should go back in on those models for example then i have like a little a little um color dot here for example, and then a number on it. 
and then is you are, you are asked what is this landmark and then you you know you go through the list and find the landmark and then copy the term over okay i see and i do basically i ask you for three things i ask you for bones i ask you for landmarks and i ask you for muscles and so the difference between bones and landmarks is the landmarks are the bones are the whole bone and the mm -hmm. landmarks are parts of the bone right so on the term list the bones are it's a little indented when the landmarks are so let me go back to that real quick so if you if you have the term list see how the bone the frontal bone and then in, indented is superciliatus and glabella so the bone is the frontal bone would be if i put a tag here and i say what's this bone and then you would say frontal bone and then if I say, what's this landmark? And I put it in between the eyebrows, it will be then the glabella. And then you say the glabella. So okay, landmark I see. versus bone. And then and then muscles easy. Most I mean, not necessarily easy, but it's just what's this muscle? You have to do it, you don't have to memorize attachments or um um, um uh, 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 or action. You don't have to do that. You just have to give me um you just have to give me the name. Okay. And then the other thing that people like sometimes to study, or at least in the past, is I have these four review videos. It's they're quite extensive, but they go through all the terms. And so I I I go through all the terms on the models that we're using for the test. Is this under the test. is this review material under week seven? Uh, uh or no, test under review? the test oh, review. It's under where the test thing is here. Let me go back to So it's after week eight, then there's test two. And it's in there, okay. the first tab in there. I'll look at that this afternoon. Okay. Yeah, and hopefully that'll take some of that anxiety out and it should be all right. I gotta make sure this is not published anymore <laughs> because we're not <laughs> doing it online. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's it ultimately it's actually a more comprehensive experience not harder really because i'm there i can help you uh, i can't give you the te term but i can guide you uh, yeah. in the right direction and also when we go to lab i'll do a lot of you know today we'll start drilling all the all the bony landmarks and then also the muscles and so i slowly get into uh you know using the terms on the test and things like that and hopefully by the time we get there and it's it will be all right you know be it'll be hopefully not um more like an experience what i want it to be is an experience that you can say like you know close out that system and then we can move on to the next stuff because yeah. my tests aren't accumulated they're just tests and then the last test is a big test, but um, it's it's not the material for muscles and bones. We're going to put that aside once we've done that. Okay, I'm glad that I asked. Um, how many questions are you allowed to tell us? I think I got 55. Okay. I think. Something like that. 52. Let's see. Does it say? 54. 54. Yeah. 54 questions and you have the when we go through it like the first um time around the class is pretty big and everybody's there so i give everybody two minutes per station then we all move and then we all move and then once we're through the first time everybody can sort of go to the places where they need to go back to and ultimately you can spend as much time as you want in a place that it's difficult to remember or something like that oh, okay so it shouldn't be it shouldn't be why is this not oh gosh darn it all right well any other questions on that or are you good, pretty good with that no i feel better asking and i'm looking forward to the lab good hi jasmine um well hi then, hi how are you good how are you i'm good any questions any concerns anything i can help you with not right now thank you okay good so then um having said that i think we've already got the test sort of discussed and we can i'll make a video of that in case you know you i know you came in a little later and 
again, since it's we have lab, we don't have too many people come to the session here. But I also want to briefly touch on this week. Um, I have, we're going to be doing the upper extremities and then the lower extremities muscles. Let me close the door real quick. Um, so this week is the upper extremity muscles and then next week is the lower extremity muscles. So that will be week eight. And then we have an in-between week because the lab schedule is that the week after there is Wednesday, there is no lab for some reason. There's a professional day. So I want the test, uh, the whole, I want the test doing the same week. So we're not splitting it up. So we're going to have one week in between, which is probably all right because we can drill a little more and have questions and really make sure you guys know that stuff. Um, but so this week, we're going to go through the arm muscles. Um, and what I have posted in the muscle, uh, in the lecture uh, tab is, on the bottom here, I have these pro tips that I created. And um, and and so when you go through the material, um, potentially some of these might be helpful. The first one is video cadaver clips where I go have a tab that basically go through all the muscles that we're covering and maybe then some, yeah, then some, um, and they talks on a cadaver and shows the muscle and it talks about the attachment and it talks about what the muscle's doing, um, the action. So it's a really, um, for a lot of people, it's really helpful to do that, visualize that. Um, you know, one of the things with, with this material is, 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 is visualization is, is, is part of that helpful part to it. I, um, uh, to kind of understand, because if you just memorize the muscle, that's fine, but it's not really deeper understanding the muscle or what it does. And so if we visualize it in multiple different ways, also the coloring and the labeling and that sort of stuff goes into that as well, um, the better usually we remember it. And then we don't really have to memorize it. It just is, it slowly becomes part of understanding. I also put all these cadaver clips right here under the muscle. So that might be an easier way to access. So when you click on here, it goes directly to the video showing that muscle and look this boring guy talks. the beta scamphidae arises here on the outermost point of the first three cervical vertebrae it is it's kind of funny the way he talks so you know it's kind of like dry language but it's exactly what is necessary for this sort of material and see you can see it like shows the bony parts and it then also it puts on the, the muscle upper medial in. corner of the scapula levator scapulae helps to elevate the scapula so that, you know, is um, one pro tip that I have in here to watch at, at those. If, of course, if it's too icky looking for people, then don't worry about it. Uh, you don't have to go through that. Then the other uh, thing that I have is also a PDF document that lists all the, um, that lists all the muscles and then some. Uh, but definitely all the ones we go through as individual muscles that you can like cut out or color or visualize differently. And so I put that behind there too for people to um, use to maybe make flashcards or or just print out and color or not use at all, depending on what works for you. So these are not things you have to do. It's just trying to uh, have things that are more that are helpful in the process. And then this last one here, although I have one more that I'm just finished creating that I want to go through as well, um, is a picture that I created for myself as a uh, electronic picture because I made it quite small. But these are all the muscles that we're going through. And so you can, um, here we go through the upper extremities. And so you can zoom in on an electronic format if I do that right. And you can then see, and it's visualizing the muscle attachments. And we did the trapezius last week. So it visualizes all the muscle attachments of the trapezius there. And then, and, and, and so that is sometimes easier to see in that format where the center of the muscle is sort of just lines and not just the whole flesh and everything, because that makes it sometimes hard to know what we're really looking at. And so I created that for originally for myself to just, um, 
get a better handle of the material when I work with the patients. I have to be really exact what I'm doing. So I just share that with you as well um, in case you find that stuff useful or interesting. Um, and as we go through the material, again, the more different ways you can look at the material or analyze the material, the also the easier it is to remember them. And then the last thing that I'm going to post there after we finish to call, let me go pull that up real quick. That's in PowerPoint here. Is this one, this puppy that I'm working on? I haven't done the actual skeleton there, oh, actual muscles there yet, but I have done the appendicular ones. And so what I've done on these is, can you see that? Is it visualizing it? I think so, right? Let's see. Let's make sure. Yeah. Uh, what I've done on 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 these is I have taken these pictures from the previous one, but I made them bigger, where you can really see the attachments of a muscle, and then you can see the uh, muscle name. Here's the muscle name, the levator, and then I got an arrow to it. And then the number also shows which muscle exactly it is. And then it talks about the attachments. Where does this attach? And the shorthand has a little legend here. And then also what action it does. And so that's also been, um, massage therapists have been liking that chart because it it visualizes it again, easier to get um, get the stuff into the brain as we process the material. So that's one that I'm going to put there by the pro tips as well after we finish the call. I just PDF that not long ago here. All right. So then that's that material. Is that pretty good so far? Anyone? Yes. Good. Okay. And then the other thing we're going to do this week, of course, the lecture always has a, a questionnaires with it to sort of process the material through. Uh, those are here. And then we got coloring and labeling. And those in those chapters are like in the, um, we did already with the actual skeleton chapter. They are um, fairly intensive because I want you to take the time and also annotate or, or ride out the origin, the insertion, the action, then look at the muscle and, and, and color the muscle as well and so we got those are um a few pages although the pictures are pretty good it should be all right but make sure you um know that that might take a little bit of time more than just the, the labeling and coloring as we have with the bones um good and then the other thing we've had this week besides that material i think we have let me make sure we have a discussion on the ergonomic evaluation to finish up that stuff. Um, and then we also going to start our injury prevention evaluation. Last week we did the posture eval. So most of us did that in class. Um, and then, uh, and then we have a week this week sort of to do some stretches on the posture eval and the ergonomic eval we finished this week or last week with the stretching and then this week we can sort of talk about it and you can just um you know talk about if you learn anything what the win was what the law you know was it boring was it not was it okay to do uh and and then we finish out that and then what we start this week is a two-week process which is an injury prevention eval so i've done that uh i what i've done is i we learn that stuff in orthopedics, well, in, in extra workshops. These are functional capacity evaluations. And what those are is these are simple tests that are not hard to do in terms of needing material or needing equipment, but they're really indica indicating of how parts of our body, of the musculoskeletal apparatus work, uh, and where are the weaknesses that then create easy, create injuries uh, you know, it's like, let's say we're weekend warriors and all of a sudden we go out playing 
some soccer or so and 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 rip something because we've been mostly not doing that in the last period and so this is a evaluation day uh, even actually use this for this i know the swiss olympic team is using that uh, same evaluation or, or very similar to it and so i want us to go through that as a as a group um you know probably more or less depends on some people can't do everything because some of these tests might be a little bit um hard so whenever you have pain coming up with a test or you you know feel uncomfortable then make sure you reach out to me but after talking about the little bit of the biomechanical background of why we get injured and what these things um uh, uh sort of the science behind that a little bit or the knowledge behind that a little bit which if you go through that you really have a fairly deep understanding of 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 musculoskeletal system and also applied in the real world and then as a few questions so you answer these questions and then we have a evaluation uh uh and the evaluation is is 12 12 tests that you do and again this is a two week or so or even a three week but i think two for doing the tests so the first one is like a balancing test and so what you want to do is you want to a balance and see how long can you balance on one leg with your eyes open and your eyes closed which is really hard to do uh and then you have this normative data and then what you do is you compare yourself depending on your age group most of us are in here uh, uh the, you 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 compare yourself to the normative data and if you're like below the normative data you go like well maybe i should do a little bit of something on that and if you're balancing a lot of us they bal we balance like you know okay with the eyes open they close the eyes will like fall over right away so make sure you hold on to something but uh, then we know oh maybe we should boost our balancing apparatus a little bit and there's some you know exercises you can do which are sort of almost self-explanatory this for example is very important because if we don't know how to balance uh when we get old and our balancing apparatus gets a little bit more shabby then that's when people fall and falls are one of the main reasons why people go to the hospital when they're old and when they go to the hospital because of fall very often they don't come back out of the hospital uh, and so we want to, you know, kind of nip that in the butt as much as we can and, and, and have some of these um, things be in good shape. The other, the next one we have is a repetitive squ squat test. And so we have some of these that are muscle using ones. And so that can be a little tiring, um, but, you know, just do the best you can. And then we also have other ones. We have, uh, then we have like a side bridge, but then we also have, um, stretchy kind of thing. So we stretch, for example, the hamstring. The hamstrings are the muscles in the back of the thigh. They are very often very tight on people, and 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 having them be sort of limber helps helps uh, the us not get in. Well, first of all, it helps them not get torn, which is can happen, which is not really that pleasant. But it also helps us um, helps us be more flexible, and have more give in the back, for example, and don't get back injuries from not having because tight the tight hamstrings that the, the, the hamstring go right into the back and fascially speaking they are very close connected and so we we can test those and then if we don't have good flexibility in the hamstring well we could do a little yoga and do some of these stretches um for example to get that better and and so on so on we do um these are all parts of the mostly lower extremity and then some trunk stuff as well and then we finish up so there's the flexion flexibility and also strengthening and then we finish up with a three minute step test which is of course cardiovascular system which is the heart muscle more um than 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 the, the extremity muscles but that then gets us right into the next chapter which is going to be the the heart itself and so we finish up with that if you come to lab we're gonna try i'm gonna try to do those in lab um i've been starting the last couple semesters and it's been it's been pretty successful it's been pretty much fun but um um you know we're gonna do some of those in lab as well but we can also finish up or do some in, at home of course and then after this too we have some questions evaluation questions these are Every test has a question to it. And then as a third part, I want you to do a uh, little bit of a 
five minute routine yourself on the uh, uh, areas where there is maybe a little bit of weakness going on. Um, and you do those for a few days. And then that's the end of that long, big, this is the biggest health kit thing. So pace yourself. But I find it, um, I, I keep it in there because I find it is helpful. And, and generally speaking, it's a little draggy, but the students do, do appreciate it because it does give us a lot of insights about our own body and it integrates the information that we're learning anyway. All right, so that's pretty much it. And then we finish up with the tips and questions and then that's it for that week. How's that seem to you guys? Any questions? No, no questions for me. All right, what about you then, Jasmine? What about you? Oh, and the Bonito is here too, hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Good. I don't have any questions at the moment. Thanks okay. for asking. Oh, you're welcome. Well, and if things are right, just send me a text. And um, if that's all I have, really, we don't have to keep us longer. We're going to see most a lot of you in lab today or Wednesday and Thursday or Thursday. All right. See you later today. See you later today and stay cool. Going to get hot again. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you for coming. Bye. 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 Nice to see you.